Hello, good Hi. to see you both. Uh, Jeff Magley, Chatty with All Nicks. Good to uh, finally talk to you guys again. Near, for, uh, near RC, good to see you again, Sika, for the first time. So, um, you know, be, basically being the Liberty's um, de facto rookies of this group, you know, you got uh, their Liberty's draft day was basically last year bringing you two in. So, in your own words, what do you bring to this organization and how can you help contribute to the championships at championship aspirations they've built over the over the off season um yeah i mean i feel like it's just like kind of finding a role and like being really good at that role um especially with the amazing team we have i mean we have so many star players and so many great players that i've personally looked up to my whole life uh so just like finding a role and being very good at that role and doing whatever the team needs me to do um whether it's running the floor hard rebounding making open shots um more like that, so yeah. Um, yeah, as Niera uh, say, it's just like to do like everything, like you can help the team and rebound or defense, like anything, like you can bring it to the team and be be there for the team and help as much you can. Appreciate that, thank you. And Niera, yeah, obviously you have Sabrina Ionescu, you can mm -hmm. work with the uh, Oregon connection, go Ducks. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, I feel like you two could share a connection too, being you know the delayed class to come in and now you can work together. So to ask both of you, how have you guys built each other? What have you learned off each other? And how have you helped each other kind of, mm -hmm. for lack of a better term, ter for lack of a better term course, almost stay sane mm -hmm. throughout what's undoubtedly a stressful training camp process? Um, yeah, I mean, it's been really good. I mean, obviously it's great having Sika here with me. Um, we've been like, uh, also outside of like basketball, we've just kind of been exploring New York a little, <laughs> trying a couple food spots, but like obviously on the court, it's always great to have somebody that is also going through it for the first time. Um, so you're not the only person. Um, but to be honest, the team has been doing a really good, good job making us feel, um, as if we know what we're doing, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like they've been doing a really good job explaining, like they take their time to explain to us. They like JJ will pull us to the side a lot. Steph will help us out a lot. So um, it hasn't been too stressful. Obviously you get a lot of new information that you've thrown at the, um, like for the first time it's a lot. Um, but the team, the coaches have been doing a really good job with helping us get through it. So. Uh, yeah, like being next to play with her, like it's amazing. Uh, as she say, we not it's not just for the core. Even offside, we hang out and we do the things together. And um, she helped me a lot, like understanding. In if I make some mistakes, she corrects me. So yeah, it's just amazing. Thank you. Hello, uh, good to see you both, um, Niara. I want to start with you. How do you think your time as an assistant coach at Sacramento State really helped you get to where you are today and has helped you be successful in training camp? Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely think it was a very good experience for me to go through, um, just seeing the game from a different perspective. Um, like, prior to this year, I wasn't very too honed in on, like, uh, what was happening behind the scenes. Um, as a player, you kind of just show up. Obviously, like, you think about basketball, but, like, as a coach, it's different. I really got to see um, Mark Campbell, the head coach, um, how he works, and I'm just very impressed by him and, like, his whole coaching staff <clears throat> and just how much time goes into coaching. I wasn't aware of that. Uh, <laughs> definitely have a lot of respect for coaches now. Um, just, like, seeing everything behind the scenes, it's really, like, when you're in, se in season like nothing else matters. It's really just basketball, basketball, basketball. Um, and as a player, you're kind of, you try to like take a step back almost and not have everything be about basketball, just like to kind of get a clear mind. But as a coach, it's not really possible. Like all you think about is basketball and how you can get the team better. Um, and you really just want the team to succeed. So I feel like it's given me a different perspective and just like respecting the coaches so much more and like listening to what they're saying um, just because... Uh, they definitely know what they're talking about. <laughs> For sure. And, you know, you obviously have seen Sabrina Ionescu in two different phases of her career. Bless you. Um, and I'm just curious what changes you've noticed from Oregon to sort of where she is now? Um, I mean, I wouldn't 
say there's a lot different just because her spirit is still the same. Like that's what I feel like makes Sabrina so great is her competitiveness and like her spirit just on the court. She's always locked in. She always wants to make her teammates better. Um, she'll call you out, but it's always like, if she says something to you, you know, like, okay, yeah. I, like, I'm not even questioning it. So even in college, back then in college, it was like that. Um, and just seeing that from the sideline and how she, like, she communicates with uh, the team. Um, and I feel like here it's the exact same thing. So I feel like that hasn't changed a lot. And I mean, her shot selection, she's always been a bucket. I feel like we all know that. Um, but definitely, like, de defensively, I feel like she's worked on her game a lot. And you can definitely tell the difference from college to pro. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just like... I'm just like very honored to be able to see her at two different levels and just to see the way she works because she really inspires everybody around her just because how hard she works on every level, uh, every day, day in, day out. Thank you. And Sika, for you, um, I I'm curious as to how you, you made the decision to be like, yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come and, and you know, start my WNBA career this season. Take me through how you made that decision. Um, I think like uh, I decided to come here. I think um, I'm ready to compete this uh, level and get uh, experience from the player and keep learning and keep growing as a player and as a person. So that's why. And the second one for you, I just, there was a video that was posted of, of how much you've looked up to JJ. Mm -hmm. And so what I want to know from you is, what is JJ's leadership style like? What is it like to be mentored by her? Uh, yeah, um, uh, for JJ is um, uh, look at her like every day, and she helped me like um, every practice, and. Anything like if I I do some mistake, she always try to correct me, and the way like I will get better. So that's amazing, and I love it. And I love also when she's we are in the court together in the practice, and the way like she helped me to get the uh, the right side and do and play as uh, my game. Uh, Grady Diaz, um, te sientes cómoda hablando en español? Um, oh, no. <laughs> no. No mucho? Okay, <laughs> no mucho. okay, okay. Um, Pero entiende. Uh, okay. um, you know, cuando tú no estás practicando, mm -hmm. ¿qué te gusta hacer en Nueva York? What do you like to do here? Stay home. <laughs> I don't believe that. <laughs> stay home and watch a movie, read the book, and... Yes, yeah, stay home. I like that more. Sometimes go out to walk. Yeah. <laughs> she takes four but hour now, naps. She doesn't do a lot. <laughs> but now I'm here with her, so she takes me every time to go out. So I have to go out every time with her. <laughs> um, we just I dragged her to the movies. We watched Gardens of the Galaxy, and she hasn't even watched the first, first ones. But I was just like, Sika, let's go. We're going to the movies. Um, but she liked this. <laughs> Howard Mandel at the Nets, Sika and Yara, great to chat with you. Um, actually, uh, Grady, you, you, you took my question and Jack, you took the one right before that, but I, I just have uh, two others if I could. Um, Sika, in terms of your ability to help this team on the court, if there's like a single thing that you think you can do at this level that's most important, you know, either from the coaching staff or from yourself, I'm wondering what that is. Uh, I would say like uh, defense mm -hmm. and rebound. Like I can help like the team like uh, on defense and the rebound. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Okay. And, and you know, I obviously to have Satu have gone through this a few years ahead. Just wondering, you know, how much you lean on her, and if there's a, like a single piece of advice that really stood out from her about you know how to compete and how to do well at this uh, WNBA level. I mean, yeah, it's obviously fun having a big sister in the league and uh, I got to see her the past few years and how like great she's done in the league uh, so just like I mean obviously I look up to her and, and um, she 
w like we texted in the beginning of the training camp, um, and she like checks up on me a lot. Um, she came late to her training camp though, so she texted me from Mexico while she was laying on the beach. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, she's just always, I mean, always tells me to like stay in the present and like just enjoy the ride and like give it my best. And um, she's been like a really big supporter of mine, especially throughout the whole injuries. So I really appreciate her for that. Thank you both. Thank, Thank you. you. Miles. Hi, Asika. Hi, Niara. Hi. Good to talk to you again. Hi. Um, for most rookies, there's about like a two-week turnaround between finding out that which team you're going to and then showing up. But both of you had an extra year. How does that help you prepare yourself a little bit before coming to this experience? Um, I mean, I would say it definitely... It, it helped in a sense of, like, last year I was able to watch the team already and, like, knowing, like, okay, this is the system I'm going to fit in. And, like, um, I, w I, w I made it a point to, like, watch all the games and, like, really study their offense and make sure, like, okay, like, this is a system I will fit in very well. So I feel like that definitely um, has a benefit to it. And, like, learning the players, knowing who you're going to play with uh, helps a lot. Um, especially because, like you said, usually you get drafted and the next week you show up and it's just kind of like, well, um, I haven't even, like, I don't even know their offense yet. I don't know what they, what type of, like, game they run. So I feel like that has helped a lot. Oh, uh, yeah, I would say, like, it was, like, helpful, like, to not to come last year and be able, like, to uh, watch the game and know, like, the player you're going to play with and and where uh, the position you're gonna play you're gonna play and get to know the place so it was really great for for me yeah. thank you last we'll go to maximilian on zoom thank you very much any other here is the max i've been for the deutschen press agentur and sits in la um oh. can you hear Sorry, I did not expect to hear German, sorry. <lacht> hey, ich bin der Max von der Deutschen Presseagentur und sitze für DPA in, in Los Angeles. Äh, schön, dich kennenzulernen. Hi. Ähm, wenn du mir kurz erklären könntest, ich habe das exakt nicht ganz verstanden, was du für eine Knieverletzung hattest, die dazu geführt hat, dass du die vergangene Saison nicht spielen konntest. Wenn du da vielleicht mir ein paar Hintergrundsätze zu sagen könntest. Ähm, und dann Satu hat bei ihrem letzten Mediengespräch gesagt, dass sie natürlich alle eins gegen eins gegen dich gewinnt. Da würde ich gerne deine Meinung Hören, wie du das siehst. <lacht> um, antworte ich auf Deutsch? Ja, gerne, wenn das okay, für dich okay, okay ist. Ja, ja, klar. Um, ich würde sagen, um, mit der Knieverletzung, das war, um, ich weiß gar nicht, wie ich das auf Deutsch erklären soll, das war, ein, ich hatte ein kleines Loch sozusagen im Knorp, in meinem Knorpel, in meinem Knie uh, und die haben das sozusagen gefüllt mit um, ein paar von meinem Knorpel, wo ich nicht wirklich drauf laufe. Um, deswegen, es war keine, also strukturell war alles gut im Knie, das, um, das war auch nicht so eine lange Reha wie bei uh, meinem Kreuzbandriss um, und uh, hier das Doktor Team, das hat echt uh, mir sehr viel geholfen und hat uh, einen super Job gemacht, deswegen mein Knie geht es echt ganz gut um, und <lacht> was das eins gegen eins angeht, klar wird Satte das sagen, aber ich, ich, ich glaube echt daran, dass ich das gewinnen würde, ich finde. Ich habe das Gefühl, ich muss das sagen. <lacht> um, aber ja, ich, ich gewinne das definitiv. Ja, vielen Dank und viel Erfolg für die Saison. Dankeschön. Thanks, Niara, und thanks, Sika. Thank you.